The Honorable Member for Selkirk. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I think all Manitobans will agree with me when I say there's no greater act of citizenship, no greater act of community than risking one's own life to save that of another. Today, across this great province, hundreds of men and women volunteer to serve their communities, donning turnout gear and responding to the call of Manitobans in need. I'm speaking of the approximately 3,500 volunteer firefighters that serve our rural communities. In my constituency, we have Selkirk, East Beaches, Narl, East Selkirk, and Broken Head Ojibwe Nation fire departments. The brave souls that make up these departments rearrange their personal and professional lives to serve, undertaking hundreds of hours of training, attending weekly practice, and being on call 24-7. The job is physically demanding, and I would imagine at times emotionally draining, responding to emergencies that most often involve neighbors, friends, or family. Rural Manitobans know it takes community support and commitment to keep these individuals supplied with the tools they need to be most effective. From their modest bucket brigade beginnings, they have evolved into elite teams of professionally trained, well-equipped, and dedicated forces that we rely on today. Thank you to the volunteers in every community for their exemplary service as they work tirelessly to make Manitoba one of the safest places in which to live. We salute you, your families, and the employers who make it possible for you to attend emergencies in our communities. Madam Speaker, I would like to introduce to the House some of the members of the Selkirk and St. Clements Fire Departments.